As the threat of a tropical storm increases for the Louisiana coast, voluntary evacuations again are in place. We sent 12 News reporter Jordan James that way. He's live in Lafayette, Louisiana, to show us how folks are preparing for the storm. Jordan. Kevin and Erica, you get the sense that folks out here are taking Tropical Storm Barry very seriously. If you can take a look right behind me, there are hundreds of folks gathered right now collecting sandbags that are being offered for free. It's fair to say that folks out here will be prepared for whatever happens this weekend. It's a race against the clock for people in Lafayette. Church is chicken. We have to keep the water out. Shermaine Francis is the general manager at a local church's chicken. She believes it's her duty to protect her place of work. We want to keep feeding Acadiana. We want to keep feeding everybody. You know, we right off I-10. It's important for people to come in. Francis is one of the hundreds of folks who has taken advantage of the free sandbags at Dean Dominguez Composite Facility. While she's been through her fair share of storms, the possibility of Barry making landfall nearby has her worried. You know, we're thinking about our restaurant, not only our family. You know, we just, we want to keep, we want to have our store back open the way it was before the storm even hit. Meanwhile at Walmart. But I have no intentions on leaving. Jeanette Clark believes based on a recent history, her best bet is to treat Barry like any other storm. We've had, you know, electricity go out, that kind of thing. Um, have some flooding by all means. We definitely had that happen as well. If I haven't had to leave and, and the many hurricanes that have passed through, I don't feel it necessary to leave now. Unlike Clark, Francis says her mind is made up about this weekend. And we're actually leaving home and we're, we're all going to my mom. We do that every hurricane, every storm. We pile up as a family, three generations, and we go to my mom's house. And if you're in the need of sand, there's plenty of it left behind me. There's been various shipments throughout the day to make sure that folks have what they need in these types of situations. In the meantime, reporting live in Lafayette, Jordan James, 12 News. Jordan, thanks very much.